Hello guys and welcome back to another video. As you can see in the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be learning how to color grade and color correct. Now, if you don't know the difference between those two terms, color correcting is basically fixing the shot and um, fixing the overexposure of the shot or the underexposure and basically doing minor tweaks to fix the shot. Now color grading is actually adding the colors and making it unique or making the shot look a certain way. So that is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be color grading the sequence you saw in the intro. Um, the one you saw in the intro is the fully completed color corrected and color graded clip. And we're about to do that right now. So. Let's get started. Alright, so as you can see, I have the clips in my timeline. Now this is the first clip, and I have several others I already edited to the music, so I won't have to be doing any editing while this video is um, recording. Anyway, let's get started. So what you do first when you are in Final Cut Pro X is you go up to this little triangle thing right here, and that is where you do all the color correcting and grading for your shots. Now, the first thing I always do is I go over to the Exposure tab, and right here you can see there's these four circles. Now, this first one is basically it adjusts all three of these circles. This is the shadows, these are the midtones, and then this is the highlight. So, this basically adjusts everything down and everything up. But I like to fine tune the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights by myself. So. Usually what I do is I bring down the shadows a little bit, I boost the highlights, and I bring down the midtones. Now you can do it however you'd like, usually I will adjust it per shot, so I'm not going to use these exact settings for every single shot in my timeline, but basically I will bring down the shadows and raise up the highlights. Next is saturation. Saturation is basically how much of a color, how colorful and vibrant your shot is. So if you bring down the saturation of the shadows, all the shadows will be desaturated, which means no color in any of the shadows. Now, as you can see, my picture right here is kind of looking a little flat, not much vibrancy to it. So to add some more vibrancy, you want to bring up the highlights, but not too much on any of these because then it just looks kind of too vibrant and it makes his face kind of look too orange. You never want to bring anything down, you just want to have everything kind of up a little. I like to bring the highlights the highest up and then eh, the mid-tones the second and then the shadows the last. So now for color. Uh, now as you can see in this shot there's uh, quite a bit of green I would say you know as you can see the blue up there um, but the green is mostly in the midtone so you I'll have the midtone right here and I'll just take a little bit of green away just a little bit not too much because if you take too much then it'll just get purple and if you put too much green it'll look like that so just a little bit of green away and then for the shadows I'll try to make it a little blue and then for the highlights, and make it a little bit of orange. So that gives him a nice skin tone. And vibrancy all around. All right. Now on to the next shot. What you can do in Final Cut Pro X is if you hold down Command Option C, it'll copy your color grade. And if I go on to the next clip, It'll paste it there. Now you can see there's quite a bit of purple in this shot. So I want to bring down the shadows a little bit and then it'll make it look like that. Actually, I might want to bring down the shadows here too. Yeah, I think I, I think I put too much purples in the shadows. So I like how this is looking. The, the pumpkins are looking really vibrant. And so basically I can just use that property. I'll, um, copy what we just did and put it right here. Yeah, and I think I'm pretty much liking that, so we'll put it right here. Now, you can see there's like a lot of yellow in the highlights, so what we can do 
is go over here and just take that down a little bit. And you can see it's starting to look a little blue, so maybe take some blue out of the shadows. Okay, and then since these two shots are actually the same shot, I just cut them together. I can Command Option C and copy that over. And we can go ahead and copy this color grade onto here. And I think I want to get a little bit of green in here. So I'm going to boost up the green a little bit. Looking purple, okay. That's looking good. Now look how flat that image is. We might have to be push the colors a little more in that one. So, oh uh, no, wow. Yeah, okay, so now paste it on here, check that everything's good. His skin's looking a little bit too oversaturated, so we're just gonna bring those mid-tones down. And that's looking, uh, speed still kind of look. Here, if I can take away some yellow, there we go. Again, just in the shot. My brother, my other little brother's in the shot as well. If you spotted that, comment down below. Uh, let's bring up those shadows a little bit, looking too shadowy. Good. And maybe copy. Uh, pretty good. Go back to this shot. So basically, not much work once you color grade the first shot now. You see this shot? Um, I did not correctly expose this, so we're going to have to do a little adjusting. So we bring down the exposure. Bring down the shadows a little bit. It's looking pretty good. Oh, if you couldn't tell, I did a transition right here. So also comment down below if you noticed that. <laughs> I hope you learned something. Um, if you don't have Final Cut Pro X, you probably didn't even get this far, unless you're a true fan. So if you did get to this part, comment down below as well. Uh, hopefully I'll get a lot of comments, because I did put a lot of um, little comment prompt things in this video. Um, but thank you guys for watching. More content on the way. Hope you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, turn on that bell notification, watch this video again so I can get those views, and always do what you love.